Hi, and welcome to the 8th tutorial video of Adobe Premiere Pro. In this video, we are going to discuss position and opacity in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get started. Let's say, I have these clips on the timeline. And I want to change its position, or I want to change its scale, or want to rotate these clips. Then what to do? Let me show you the solution to this. This is a very important tutorial of Adobe Premiere Pro, because this video is the base of all upcoming tutorials. For easy understanding, I have put four videos in a row. These are the videos we have practiced in our class. But also on the first layer, I have added another video clip. So on both layers, we have a total of five video clips. I am going to add all clips in different layers, because I need them in different layers. Now I have put these clips in different layers. If I hide my second layer, you will be able to preview the media that we have on the first layer. Let's say I want to play these two videos at the same time on my screen. For this, we will need to decrease the scale of the videos or we will change their position. For example, on the right side of the screen, I want to play the video that we have on the first layer. And on the left side of the screen, I want to play the video that we have on our second layer. To do this progress simply click on the clip. Then click on the effects control panel. In effects control you will find three different options. One is motion, the second one is opacity, and the third one is time remapping. We will explain them one by one in detail. On the left side of each button, you will find an arrow button. Now I want to change the position and scale of these clips, so I will click on the position button. Once we click on it, it will display some more options like position scale, rotation, anchor point, etc. In the position option, you will find two different values, the first value denoting x-axis and the second value indicating y-axis. If we drag the x-axis values to the left, it will drag our media to the left side, and if dragged x-axis to right it will drag our media to the right. If we drag the y-axis values to the left, it will drag the media to the top. And if we drag it to the right, it will drag our media to the bottom. Similarly, if decrease the scale values are, it will decrease the scale of the video clip. And if we increase, it will increase the scale. Here I want to give you a pro tip. And the pro tip is we can move our clips, and also we can increase and decrease the scale of our media on the program window using selection tool. This is a very quick and easy method, but it's very important to keep X and Y axes in mind. To do so select the selection tool from timelines, then select the clip, and then double click on the clip in the program window. Then you will get transform control on your clip. With transform control, you can change the position and scale of the videos. If I am changing the position and scale on the program window, on the effects control panel, you will notice that Premiere is changing the values automatically. On the right side of each button, you will find a reset parameter option. If you click on this it will reset the parameters and the clip will be changed to its original position or scale. Now I want to play these two videos at the same time on my screen. I will simply click on this first clip and will drag it to the left. And then I will click on the second clip, and will move it to the right. Now let's watch the result. Let's say, I want to play all these videos on one screen, like the end screen of YouTube. First, be sure all the videos have enough length, to play them till the end. Then drag all the clips to the end. Now, I will change the position and scale of all of these clips using selection tool.
I have changed the position and scale for all clips. Now let's watch the resultant video. Now you have learned how the position and scale work. If you focus on the program window, if I increase or decrease the scale of the media, it increases and decreases proportionally in all directions. If we uncheck the uniform scaling option from here, then we can stretch our media in one direction. We never suggest unchecking this box, because it will affect the video quality, and it will look so strange. But sometimes we need to stretch in one side, so we have the option to do it. The rotation is used for rotating the media. If you drag the values to the left and right it will rotate the clip. If we click on the arrow on the left side of the rotate button, it will display a clock option. From here we can also rotate the media. The media can be rotated with selection tool on the program window. If you focus on the clip on the program window, in the center of the clip, you will find a circle. This circle is known as the anchor point. If we change the anchor point, then it will change the rotation point of the clip. Now it's rotating the clip from this end. Anchor points define the rotation point of the video. That means, from which point the media will be rotating. We can also change the anchor point from our effects control panel. The opacity option is used for increasing and decreasing the opacity. There are some blending modes in the opacity panel. We mostly use them on green screens or if we want to create overlays. In every clip, the result of the blending mode will be different. We will learn them in complete detail in our next tutorial videos. Time remapping is used for the speed of the clips. We have discussed this in our previous classes and in detail, we will discuss it in our next classes. For now, I want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have learned this, and now you have some idea of position, scales, opacity, and rotation. Wish you a great day. Take care. See you in the next tutorial video. Goodbye.